Hey guys, JT with a quick look of um, a uh, kind of a crawler that I got from uh, Amazon. This is uh, it says Raptor Crawling Vehicle. So uh, I'm actually going to take a look at this real quick because some people were talking about getting this. So um, went ahead, pulled the trigger, got one of these just to take a look at it real quick. Um, it says 15 plus miles per hour out the box. It's supposed to come with um, battery and charge and everything. So we'll take a look and see. Get this open real quick. Let me see if I can pull this out real quick. All right, so got this out real quick. Let's see if turn this light on, make it a little bit brighter. There we go. So this is going to be more of kind of a, a toy grade RC car. It's not going to be more of the hobby grade. And the difference, if you guys don't know, is that um, toy grade is if you break something, you really can't replace some of the parts on here. I'm looking at kind of the way this thing is constructed. I'm going to get these um, zip ties off of here real quick um, to see. And this battery is pretty tucked and secured in here as well. But the difference is, of course, toy grade. If something breaks, you're not able to replace the parts on it. Um, trying to see, it does have you know a couple of screws here and there on it. So I'm not 100% sure until I look at this a little bit more in depth to see if um, something breaks on it, the parts are replaceable. But this is not going to be so fast that it breaks anyway if you run into something um, or something like that. Because it's only going to go about, I'd say about... 12 to 15 miles probably we'll see in just a minute let me get the zip ties off take a closer look at it real quick all right so got all that out so it does include the the battery and charger this is probably a nickel metal uh hydride battery which it is this is what milliamp rating is this 500 milliamp so you'll probably get about 10 to 12 minute runtime maybe 15 depends on how hard you run it with this type of battery but it does come with a charger basically you can charge this up on your computer or anything that actually plugs into a usb device so i'm not sure of the charge time on this there's no specifications on that but i'm thinking it's going to take about an hour or so to get this charged up so i'm going to get this charged up and um go out there and take it for a quick test run now looking at the truck real quick of course um suspension is going to be a little bouncy there's not oil filled shocks on here but i do know people that kind of get stuff like this and do little quick things to it to get it to um perform a little bit better um i have a friend that actually um loves to get stuff like this and do modifications for it so um this has got working led lights too you kind of see right there the circuit board so that's going to that's connected to there for that um and this is dual motor as well so looking underneath and at the bottom of it you see it has two motors there for it and with this if you want to adjust the steering um direction you actually just turn this left and right just a little bit if it's going too much to the left or right that'll adjust that for that but this is not four-wheel steering like you guys know some of the wl toys has the four wheel steering and stuff on it so uh, battery's gonna go right in there you just unscrew this particular um is that a phillips head phillips head in there and battery pops up in there and of course they got a little warning sign and stuff like that on it so uh let's take a look at the radio real quick um this does kind of remind me of some of the old fly sky rails that fly sky radios that used to have but this is actually a little bit smaller so this is going to be a little bit smaller than your standard um, 2.4 gigahertz radio, but this is 2.4 gigahertz. So, and I'm not sure, it probably uses, I gotta unscrew that. Uh, yeah, I gotta unscrew that. Uh, this probably uses either double A's, maybe two, or maybe a nine volt battery or something like that. And product one device, device blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, there's no trim adjustments on the radio that's the fictitious button there it just has an on off switch and this right here is plastic as well the steering wheel on there as well so that'll be interesting so to get this out and do a quick test run of it i may run it when it starts getting a little bit dark just to um kind of see how well these lights and stuff work as well so but anyway guys want to uh, do a quick uh, unboxing on this show this to you guys uh, get some a video to up with this running real quick so you can guys can see how this thing performs And I may even try a lipo battery in here as well I think I have one That has this particular type of connection on it, but we'll see um, I'll try to stack out the box and get this thing running So as always guys don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching